Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Tommy O. And this is our show where we talk all things real estate, life, market, what's hot, what's not, Moncton, where to go, what to see, and what to do. All in all, just why Moncton? That was really good. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about first time home buying. <laughs> Turn the lights on. <laughs> so tip number one, stalk the neighborhood. <laughs> now why would we do that? <laughs> I don't remember what you told me to say. <laughs> so basically you want to make sure that your house is located in a good location for you. You know, you don't want to go and live somewhere and you're not happy with the neighborhood. So make sure that you do your due diligence and you go around, check out your hood. Next. Okay. So tip number two would be get pre-approved. After you're done stalking the neighborhoods and seeing <laughs> where you wanna go, the first step you know, is to basically get in touch with a mortgage specialist and see what you can and can't afford. Um, that way you can go into an offer situation with a pre-approval letter from your bank and you don't waste your time shopping for things you can't afford. Yeah! Shop smart. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Tip number three, hire a realtor. Why is that? Realtors know best. We're professionals in the field. We are great with negotiating. And the best part, what's the best part about hiring a realtor? Um, well, how much does a realtor cost? Free 99. <laughs> <laughs> as in free as in like when you're buying a home you get the service of a professional for free that is correct how's that well let me tell you Tom <laughs> <laughs> how this works is the seller actually pays the commission to the realtor so for you as the buyer it is not gonna cost you squat so you'd be crazy not to crazy not to Hire a realtor. Yeah. <laughs> Remax quality, six party mountain road. <laughs> Thomas O'Neill. <laughs> Thomas O'Neill, Jocelyn Clements. Next tip. You're buying a house. Not dating it. Now what does that mean? That means you need to differentiate your emotions and your instincts. You can fall in love with these amazing houses, but you need to get really get realistic and break down to what your instincts are telling you. Make sure you got all your ducks in a row and your, your wants and needs list and yeah, make sure you're practical with your, with your purchase and got anything else to add about, add about that? I mean, at the end of the day, you might think you need that in-ground pool, but you might not and you just want it. I want a pool. Parley Beach. Parley Beach. It's one of uh, New Brunswick's finest. That's right. <laughs> Tom, I need to cut you out of the scene for a second. <clears throat> Next tip, give your house a physical. And I know guys, I know your head's going there, but what that means is. Hire a home inspector. Yeah, baby. Hire a home inspector. We got some good inspectors here in the city of New Brunswick. I know a few. Who's your favorite? Evan Palmer, Palmer Inspections. Ooh. Wanna know why? Do tell. Oh, okay, so basically, when I first started my real estate uh, you know, career, um, I sent him a message on the gram, slid into his DMs, and I said, hey man, uh, you know, I I'm a new realtor. I wanna know a little bit about you know, home inspections. Can you spend some time with me and teach me so that I am like an informed realtor for my clients? Lo and behold, he, he showed me some things and he's amazingly qualified. Like he's got tons of stuff that I can't even pronounce. Um, he used to inspect like dive, like he used to dive and do like ocean something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it was really cool. Do you want to talk about um, keep your money where it is? Don't show up to closing day in a brand new Ferrari. It'll, Why not? It'll still matter. I would look really good in a Ferrari. You would look great in a Ferrari, but 
you'd live in a Ferrari because you wouldn't have a house anymore. Oh, are you serious? Basically, it'll impact your mortgage because you'll be owing in regard to that car payment. And therefore, you can no longer withstand the stress of the mortgage you will be getting on your lovely new first house. On the topic of nice things, though, I think like this kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier with regards to, you know, your emotions and your instincts when it comes to buying a house. But really make sure that when you are doing that search that you're not bigger isn't always better. You know, I know they've said that your whole life, but, you know, it really is not. It's your first home. It's exactly how it sounds. Um, this may be the home that you stay in the rest of your life, but this may also be, uh, you know, a house that you only stay in for a couple of years and then you sell it, uh, make some money off of it and you move into something a little bit better. You don't need to have that house that's on MTV Cribs. And I think that that is for me a, a huge thing when it comes to clients and first time home buyers. As exciting as it is for you to <clears throat> want the flashy things, want the things that you're gonna throw up on Instagram and be proud of, you know, be proud of what you can get right now. What she said. Yeah. You know, in the midst of everything that has happened over the past, I don't even know, I've lost, is it, it's been two years, right, for this whole panty thing. I think we should talk about like a couple of tips that you could bring home, you guys could bring home and use in your everyday lives. And let's talk about about how to take control of your life when things are super crazy and hectic around you and it's just straight up overwhelming. Do you have any tips, Tom? I mean, <laughs> all kinds of recommendations. One is, you know, write it out, put it on paper, put it on a board, hold yourself accountable, whether it be a calendar in your iPhone or a whiteboard in your office. You know, if you say you're gonna do something, then do it. Write it down, tell people you're gonna do it. Be excited about them, self-growth. And you know what? If they care, they should follow up and be like, hey, how did that go? Or find someone who will follow up. And that way it'll push you and hold you accountable for your actions. You know, at the end of the day, it can be one day or day one. You need to pick which one and you gotta get to decide. Story time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I've always struggled with accountability just generally, um, I would say for the past like six years. And what's really helped me is definitely having other people involved in my life and holding me accountable to those goals. I'd like to throw in an additional point to that with regards to, you know, personal development. So while you are doing all of these things, such as your, you know, your list in your Google calendar or a journal or whatever, do like also do like personal development videos and <clears throat> read books, go for walks, move your body, change your mind. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Ready, death stare. <laughs> hey, three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you for watching our show. Make sure to tune in next Sunday where we're going to be talking even more things about Moncton, our lives, weird things. Push it. That was easy. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. That was easy. <laughs> We're realtors at Remax Quality at 640 Mountain Road. We are Moncton certified. Fun. Fine. Let's say it at the same time. Ready? Realtors. Realtors. <laughs> realtors. realtors. <laughs>